Let's take a look at our blocks. This rectangle has three sides that I can use. I have this big size. This is the biggest size. This is the second biggest size. And then I have this small shape on the edge. All of these are rectangles. So with one block, I can get three different shapes. There's one. Now if I just flip it over as if I'm viewing the skinnier side, I can trace that rectangle. And then finally we have the smallest rectangle, which I can also trace around. So as you can see, with that one block, I've gotten three different shapes that I can work with. All right. The next thing I'd like you to do before we get started is to just uh, get some of your shapes that you have, your blocks, and just make a little block build on your paper, on your floor, anywhere. Just play with these shapes first, see how they go together. Bring in some of your other favorite shapes and just start to have fun. Play with these shapes, see their relationships to each other. I'm doing all of this before I even begin to create my drawing. Playing with these shapes will give me some ideas and give me some inspiration. Again, there's no rules here, just building. The nice thing about playing with these blocks flat on your paper is you can do things that you can't do when you're building them vertically. You can lay shapes on top of each other that would normally fall because they're round. You can put shapes that are, seem like they're floating. You can move things around in a way that you might not be able to because of gravity. I like this. So once you kind of get done playing and having fun, I could do this for a long time, endless options. But once you've decided that you're ready to create your building for your drawing, you can just kind of clear things off. You could do it in a way where you're keeping things in place, or you could just start all over. The first thing I would like you to do when we begin this project is to create a horizon line or a ground where land meets the sky, just a little base, a foundation. I'm going to put some little blades of grass here, make this feel more like it's the earth. Then I'm going to start all over again. I'm just going to play with some shapes. I had some some fun things happening in the last little build that I did that I might incorporate here, or I might just kind of make it up as I go again. This time I'm not going to go as far as I did last time. I'm going to begin and then I'm going to build on what I've started. I kind of like these two shapes together. That makes a fun little structure. And this time too, I'm going to try to keep some of this intact as I move it out of the way to start tracing around my blocks.
This is looking fun. Again, this is a lot different than the last one where I was just playing. All right. So I'm going to carefully move these groupings out of the way and just start by tracing around this first shape in the middle. I'm going to start in the middle and work my way out to the edges just so I know I have enough room. I'm just going to flip this block over and trace it again. All right, there we go. The beginning of my building. Again, this is the fun part. This is where you just get to create, use your imagination, use these blocks that you have, and create your structure. This is a two-dimensional block build. So we, when we normally build with blocks, we work in 3D and all kinds of fun things that can happen from there, but we can also do some interesting stuff working flat in the two dimensions. Repeating shapes over and over again. See what that repetition looks like. Make some choices. And there you are. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with.